One that I would have to say was very questionable was the man City Neon. But the moment that Calafiori touched that ball, magic happened. A lot of them, it's not paid. And I'm just going to take the sacrifice now and like deal with it. He wrote this book about black Arsenal. Arsenal's connection to black people, black heritage, black players and their... Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. Uh, my name is Zoe and I will be talking about fashion and football. Um, it is kind of late. I just got back from my internship uh, and I was like, I have no excuse. Even if I'm tired, I'm still going to film. So um, this weekend we have the North London Derby. Arsenal versus Tottenham. Let's go Arsenal. Um, wish us luck. We have a lot of problems, but a lot of solutions, I would say, I truly believe. Um, I've got my notes here, so if I keep looking this way, that is because of my notes. Odegaard out, ankle injury. Marino out, we've already been new. Rice is out, that red card, we're not going to talk about it. Um, Calafiori had a knock, but I truly believe that he will be okay. They haven't really said anything about it. Um, Tomiyasu, we don't know when he's coming back. Um, good luck to him. I don't know what he's doing. And Gabriel Jesus, he should be back this weekend, I'm pretty sure, unless he hurts himself in training again between now and, what, we have three days, I think? Today's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. By God's grace, he will be fine. But despite our missing players, I do truly believe that we have a good chance of winning this match against Tottenham. Like, I don't think it's a difficult match. Like, obviously, it's the North London like, rivals, whatever. But Arsenal have done pretty good against Tottenham for the past while. So, I don't think it should be much of a problem. And this will now be my chance, personally. Because I really want to see Jorginho in the midfield i want to see him playing i want to see uncle georgie play like let's see and he, we know he's a good player he's got experience at chelsea he's been playing at arsenal for a while now so i think he'll be good and to see him in Havertz, possibly in the midfield i think that would be fun to see and then calafiori starting on the pitch i've been begging for this day obviously we've only had what three matches but if you recently just saw the Italy versus France game, the UEFA Nations, which is the most irrelevant tournament in my opinion. But anyways, that doesn't matter. Calafiori carried that game. He carried that game on his back. Italy were playing so terribly in my opinion for the first like 25, half an hour. It's so frustrating to watch. But the moment that Calafiori touched that ball, magic happened. And that's what we want to see in the Arsenal game. So, obviously he is going to start, because I don't know what else would happen. Him, Timber, I haven't watched um, any of the other matches in the UEFA, but Timber should be fine by now, I would hope. Um, Sterling, as well, he's going to be playing up in front. I wonder if um, Arteta would start him. I don't know, we will have to see. Um, but yeah. I think we have a pretty good chance at this game. I don't think we need to worry. Uh, I don't really know much about how the Spurs play, but apparently I've watched, I watch um, this YouTube channel, I put it up here because I cannot remember the name, um, but they really break down everything so well for me to understand. They were saying that Tottenham aren't very good playing out wide or something, defending out wide or something. And I would say they were pretty good overall. So we'll see. We're going to win in Tuesday. name. The next thing that I was going to talk about is my internship. Uh, I started on Tuesday. It is now Thursday. And we have the show on Monday because it's London Fashion Week currently. Initial thoughts. Pretty decent. It's what I've expected over the course of my time being a fashion student because I have had um, experience interning. It's pretty much what I've done like before, which is just like 
cutting up fabric some buttons for now just because the show is on monday so like there's a lot of those finishing touches to do which are kind of tedious but like it is what it is i don't really mind too much it's just that my back hurts a lot um so yeah the exact things that i've been doing mainly the number of buttons that i've sewn god help me it's a lot um and cutting my right hand is so stiff now because i think i've just activated muscles that haven't been used in a long time all at the same time so my hand it's weak um so sewing buttons cutting out fabric um for like special show pieces like the standout show pieces those are what will be worked on this weekend before the show and then also running to manufacturers pattern cutting getting fabric here and there a lot of that kind of stuff which is pretty standard in my opinion in terms of working hours uh it is nine till six nine till six but for the past two days i've stayed until eight just because again the show is on monday which means that everyone works overtime um but <laughs> i'm not getting paid <sighs> that is the reality of fashion internships a lot of them it's not paid and i'm just going to take the sacrifice now and like deal with it because i'm only 20 like it is what it is um obviously it would be much better to be paid and i want to look for one that can pay me but the chances of that are so slim i'm not gonna like throw away my hopes of getting a paid internship but it's not common it's not found often in the uk at least so that is that this is the main part of this video which will be which premier league kits do i think are the best um initially i wanted to do a best to worst premier kits but some of them are just not good enough to be mentioned i think like you'll see when you watch the game if you're interested but to start off obviously i have to shout out my players my team and that is arsenal the arsenal our black kit i genuinely believe our away kit is so so satisfying um the all black i just feel like you can never really go wrong with that it looks good and specifically this image that i have of trossard when he scored that goal it's just this is my renaissance like this is this is beautiful all everyone with the black socks the black shorts black kit and their little hints of red and green is so good and with this specific kit i know that um the theme or the colors were an ode to arsenal's connection with just black culture and african heritage and just arsenal's international fan base and i think that's really nice to be seen celebrated in a kit and like it makes sense because at least for me in my head arsenal is a very black team which to add on to that um recently there was a book released i don't know if you can buy it yet i haven't read it but i've read some articles on it by dr clive nuonka i hope that's how you pronounce his name correctly um he wrote this book about black arsenal arsenal's connection to black people black heritage black players and their experience in arsenal and with arsenal and i just i really hope to read it um yes arsenal arsenal's kit is beautiful um i'm not particularly the biggest fan of like the white and red classic i mean it looks decent enough but this specific black kit i think is perfect the next kit that i think is really nice i really enjoy the newcastle black and white kit um i don't know whether this is the away or home but 
as I was looking through all the different clubs kits, came across this one. Again, I haven't watched any of the games, but I've seen the kit. And I just think you cannot ever go wrong with black and white. I think it's so crisp and polished and it's kind of classic. Like it's not doing too much. Black shorts, white socks, a little stripe. Kind of reminiscent of Foot Locker, but we move. And then they have this pre-kit, pre-match, I think, uh, jersey, which obviously you'll see on the screen. But it's like a teal and black leaf print on a white base. And I just think it looks so good and stylish. And I really enjoy it. I think it looks good. Now we have Aston Villa. The match against them, it was a good match. I have to give them that. But um, I think their white kit with the light blue shorts, I think it looks very good, very clean. I don't think you could never really go wrong with white. I feel like it's a good base, you know? I think the light blue and the burgundy, I think they complement each other pretty well. Um, and also, this is the important thing for me, is that their sponsor does not have an ugly logo. I think it all works very well together. There's not too much, there's not too little, like it's very clean, it's very sleek. But this leads me to Bournemouth. Bournemouth, I truly believe, again, I don't know much about the club, but I really, really enjoy the purple and blue on top of the white. Again, you can't go wrong with white. But whatever, I don't know what BJ88 is, that their sponsor I assume but I don't know what kind of company that is I think it ruins the kit maybe it's the color or the font but it just stands out in a weird way and I don't enjoy it but I do really really like the colors aside from that of that kit I don't know if there's any significance to those colors but I think it looks good and I think it looks good I haven't seen it on the pitch but like when the players are stood with each other, like edited, I think it looks nice. Oof, we have Fulham, mini Arsenal, as one could say. Um, gonna miss Smith Rowe and Nelson. Shout out to them though. I hope they do. they're gonna do well. Smith Rowe already has. We've seen him, so shout out to them. Um, but I absolutely love the fact that this kit has collars on it. I think it's very reminiscent of like the older 2000s again okay i wasn't watching football back then because i was not alive um but the collars just have this really old school vibe and again it's black and white so you can't really go wrong but they have this you'll see in the pictures but this red streak the same in the arsenal kit maybe other, others as well but i noticed it specifically in this one the little accent of red, the streak flows through the top, like the shirt, to the shorts. I just think that is a very, very satisfying detail. And unlike, actually I think all of these kits would, but specifically this kit, it looks good styled with jeans, as Nelson has showed us, but like it looks good. And I can't really imagine the Bournemouth kit doing that. For example, for example, no hate to them. I hate to say this one, but Tottenham, they have a pretty good, I do enjoy the kit. Not too much, but a little bit. Um, to speak objectively, I would have to describe it as pretty. The blue, the shade of blue is so nice. I think it's very refreshing. And yeah, it looks good on the pitch enough. But as I was researching or looking through their Instagram, I came across this picture of Son, and I'm pretty sure this is their pre-match kit. And I, the graphic design on the shirt, I think it has a very modern feel to it. It kind of flows. It's nice. I think it's cute. Again, I'm not going to go too much into it because it is Tottenham, but I do enjoy it a little bit. Now we have Liverpool. See, Liverpool's kit, I wouldn't say it's amazing, 
but I would say it's a lot better than other teams' outfits. But this specific kit, I like it because it's not plain white. They have a bit of a print within the white, like a it's main white, and then a bit of a light grey. And I just think it adds some depth to the shirt. Gives it a little motion, you know? And then with the classic red. I just noticed, however, the Nike tick is not upside down, but it's tilted the other way. I remember scrolling through something on Instagram. I don't know if it's a movement or something. I wouldn't say it's terrible. Um, yeah, that's that. Honourable mentions. I would have to say this Everton kit. I was looking through. Um, I could only find this image, but again, as I said at the very beginning, I do very much so enjoy a black kit, and this one's very nice. Same with Wolverhampton too. Theirs is black with a little bit of depth that I was talking about in the Liverpool kit. It's like black with a light grey print with a bit of yellow. Not too bad. Not doing too much. Kind of cute. Leicester not horrible either i think the pink adds a bit of playfulness to the kit um i don't know how well they do in the premier league and then lastly we have chelsea not amazing but i'm gonna appreciate the graphic design i think it's cool i think it's smooth i think it's interesting to look at that's it i wonder if there are any other premier league kits that you guys enjoy I took a look at all of them. One that I would have to say was very questionable was the Man City Neon. I don't know what that's about, but no hate to them. They're doing obviously extremely well. Um, they're going to be one of our hardest matches. But if you guys are interested or have any questions about my internship, let me know in the comments. Um, I hope you all have a lovely week. I'm going to try and post consistently and I will be posting a vlog soon about my internship and also uni. Uh, I will be a lot busier now so I'm going to try and be consistent. But yes, I hope you all enjoy yourselves and enjoy the matches this weekend. Bye bye.